we are going to pray tonight. I want us to first, wherever you are, if you joined us via media, I want us to first acknowledge the presence of the Holy Spirit. Let us thank him that he is here. He will guide us through the, this, this prayer session while we stand praying for our nation and our leaders. Can you welcome the, the Holy Spirit? Let us all pray. Let us welcome the present Holy Spirit. Welcome him in your house. Welcome him at your workplace, wherever you are. Welcome him because he is the God, the Father in us. Without him, you cannot pray. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we welcome you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. You are welcome in this place. Tirabakosa. You are welcome in this place. Besendika parikazi. Jerevake sindamboka ziareka. Besiendi rosote bakasha. Resendi konsa ribeke siate. Rosori kasi ande. Jero sari kesi atan. Besendi konsa ni mbake siate. Rekosa ni kapareka. Ziande konsa tika rem. Besendi kapareko zem. Jero konsi anda mbake Oh Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this place. We are dependent upon you as we stand up. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, praying for our nation, praying for our leaders, praying for our fellow brethren, praying for our fellow sisters, praying for our fellow pastors. Holy Spirit, we say, guide us, lead us, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are dependent upon you, Holy Spirit. Have your way in us. Have your way in us. Have your way in us, Holy Spirit. Just like the day of Pentecost. Overwhelm us with your power. Overwhelm us with your power, Holy Spirit. Overwhelm us with your power, Holy Spirit. Your power to pray the right prayers. In this season, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Without you, Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. Without you, Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. We cannot pray. For the Bible says we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But you, the Holy Spirit, make intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Holy Spirit, tonight, we pray that lead us into this prayer. Lead us as we pray for our nation. Lead us as we pray for our nation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you mighty God. We bless you Father. We honor you Father. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are just begin to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus we glorify your name. Your name above all names. You are Emmanuel, the Lord is with us. You are the Prince of Peace, Counselor, Mighty God. You are our Christ, the Anointed One in His anointing. Lord Jesus Christ, we acknowledge your name. For you have given us the power of attaining. You have given us the power of attaining to use the name. When we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, things happen. When we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, heaven is, is moved for Holy Spirit. It is written, Lord Jesus Christ, in Philippians 2.23 that you feel all in all. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. For you are the fullness of who fills all in all. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. This nation depends on you. Jesus Christ, let your name be glorified. In this place, let your name be glorified upon every home that is watching us tonight. Let your name be glorified upon every place here on earth. For you said in your word, Father, that you will fill this earth with your glory. There is no glory without you, without your name, Lord Jesus Christ. 
There is no glory without your name, Lord Jesus Christ. For the earth is yours in its fullness. And they that dwell in Jesus Christ, we honor your name. The name above all names. The name above all names. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. We bless you, mighty God. We honor you, daddy. Be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. We thank you. Reseti Korikashe. We thank you, mighty God. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. The name of Jesus. The name above all names. Oh Lord Jesus, we glorify your names. Oh Lord Jesus, we call upon on your name, Lord Jesus, tonight. As you are about to pray and stand in the gap for our nation, Lord Jesus Christ, let the power in your name be manifested in every word that we release in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We give you the glory. We honor you, mighty God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to, to start by praying the heart of the Father. As we speak, there is, I said there are several types of wills. There is a moral will of God that is in the Ten Commandments, one of the perfect examples. There is a desired will of God, the desired will of God that every man should be saved. Amen? The desired will of God is that every man should be saved. So we, so we, we, we need to pray the desired will of God. We need to pray that the, the desired will of God that every man should be saved. Let us go to Ezekiel 18 verse 23 and remind God, why are we praying this prayer? Why are we starting with this prayer? There are those in hospitals who do not know God intimately. Who have never heard the name of Jesus Christ. They have never heard anybody sharing the name of, of Jesus Christ with them. But now they are fighting for their lives. And there is no one in their families who can stand in the gap for them. Because even their families believe on other things. They believe that if they can go to so and such and such person, such and such person will do this. But I want to put, I want us to read Ezekiel. Have I any pleasure into the death of the wicked, said the Lord. And not rather he will, should return from his way and live. In other words, in the other uh, version said, God is not pleased with the death of a sinner. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray for the grace and the mercies of God upon those who are in the hospitals who do not know God intimately. Because those are the ones that God might lose them forever if they do not live now. God might lose them forever. Let us pray that let grace, let grace find them. Let great the grace of God locate them wherever they are. Especially those who do not know God intimately. Especially those who have never received the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. Let us pray that God intervene in their situation right now in any hospital that they might be all over this world.
in any hospital that they might be fighting for their lives all over this world, especially here in, in South Africa, let God send someone to share the word of God. Some of you might be saying that it's not possible because those COVID patients cannot be visited by anyone. It is the plan of the enemy so that they don't get the chance to, to repent. But tonight as we pray, God will raise up one of the frontline workers, the nurses, the doctors, who will say to the patient, say, ma'am, have you received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? When they say no, they will, that person, that nurse will, will say to the person, try him, he will save you, you will live. Even if they can pass on, even if they can die, but as long as they die knowing Christ, we cannot afford to populate hell because of this season. Hallelujah. For our God, the desired will of God is that every man should be saved. Hallelujah. Can we pray? Can we pray that, Father, let those who don't know you intimately, in whatever hospital all around this world, in whatever place they might be, those who are fighting for their lives because of this sickness, let the hand of God locate them. Let them live so that they can glorify the name of the Lord in the land of the living with us. Let us pray for them. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, your heart, you said, mighty God, in your word, that you are not pleased with the death of a sinner. You said, mighty God, in your word, that you are not pleased with the death of the wicked, that they rather that he should return from his way and live. Mighty God, as a church, we are standing in the gap for those who do not know you intimately, those who are fighting for their lives in whatever hospital all over this world, especially here in South Africa. We say, Father, you said, mighty God, you sought for a man who should stand in the gap for your people. Heavenly Father, we are raising up our hand tonight. We say, Father, here we are. We are standing in the gap for the unsaved ones, for those who do not know you intimately. Heavenly Father, intervene mighty God in their situations. Intervene mighty God in their situation. For Jesus Christ did not die in vain. Jesus Christ died for them too, mighty God. God. Heavenly Father, they might be in those beds, hopeless, mighty God, knowing that there is no person who can go and share the gospel with them. But mighty God, tonight, we are praying unto you, our Father, knowing that you can raise up someone, you can raise up a doctor, you can raise up a nurse in that hospital, in that clinic to share the good news with them in their beds, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we pray mighty God. Raise prayer warriors. Raise men and women in white. The nurses and the doctors and others who are sent in the hospital. Raise the mighty God to reach out to those who don't know you intimately. Heavenly Father, I pray mighty God. Your mercy, O oh Lord. Your mercy, O oh Lord. Your mercy, O oh Lord. Your grace, O oh Lord. Your mercy, O oh Lord, let them not die, mighty God, without accepting you, Father, as their personal Lord and Savior. For you are not pleased with the death of a sinner. You are not pleased with the death of a sinner. Mighty God, we pray that let them live, Father. Let them live, mighty God. Let them live, mighty God. If you need them, Father, must send someone to share your word with them. 
We saw with mighty God. You sent Philip to share the word of God with the Ethiopian Enoch. He ended up being baptized. Heavenly Father, I know that even in this moment, you can raise up mighty God, your nurses, your doctors, or any other person working in the hospital. Heavenly Father, to share the word of God. Heavenly Father, we might not be able to reach them right now. Heavenly Father, but we know that nothing is impossible with you, Father. Nothing is impossible with you, mighty God. Nothing is impossible with you, mighty God. We cry for their souls. We pray, mighty God, for their souls. We cry, mighty God, for their souls. They cannot die and go to hell for eternity. They cannot die and go to hell, mighty God. Your mercy is mighty God upon them. Your grace mighty God upon them. We pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for their souls. We pray for their souls, mighty God. Send your ministering spirit, your angels, mighty God. Let them live, mighty God. Let them live, mighty God. Let them not die without knowing you intimately. We pray for them, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the God who answers prayers. We thank you, mighty God, that you are the God who answers prayers. We thank you, Father, that even tonight you have heard our prayers. You have heard our prayers. You have raised up as a church for times like this. Mighty God, today, we are not praying for our food. We are not praying for our shelters. We are praying for those souls, men and women, who are created according to your image, mighty God. Heavenly Father, wherever they are in any hospital in this world, those who don't know you intimately, mighty God, let them live, mighty God. Let them live, mighty God. Or send someone to share your word with them. Heavenly Father, you are not pleased with the death of a sinner. You are not pleased with the death of a sinner. We are not pleased either with the death of a sinner. Mighty God, those souls belong to you. Those souls belong to you. The harvest, mighty God of souls, by the enemy stops today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the harvest of souls by the enemy stops right now. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus Christ upon every hospital, upon every ward, upon every bed. Let the blood of Jesus Jesus Christ, speak life unto them. Let the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ speak life unto them. For Father God is written that the blood of the Lamb speak better things than the blood of animals. Mighty God, we pray. Father, save them. Save them, mighty God. They are your people too. They are your people too. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Save the mighty God. Let your glory descend upon each and every hospital where your children are, mighty God. Let your glory descend upon each and every hospital, upon each and every house where the sick ones are, mighty God. Heavenly Father, we pray for their salvation. We pray for the grace of their salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you. We are dependent upon you, Father. We are dependent upon you, mighty God. They are your children too. They might be sinners, but still, Father, they are created according to your image. Heavenly Father, we pray, mighty God, 
for the grace of salvation of those who are not yet in hospitals, those who don't know you intimately, mighty God. Give us the grace to meet them and release the word unto them, Father. If we can't meet them, mighty God, Heavenly Father, Musimwanga, I know you are capable of setting up a divine appointment with them that would to meet someone who will share the word of God with them. Let them have a divine encounter, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, mighty God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, the praise and adoration. We thank you, King of Kings. We thank you, Lord of Lords. You are worthy, Father, to be praised. You are worthy, Father, to be praised. We bless you, mighty God, tonight. We thank you for the lives of your people. We thank you, Father. You are the God who answers prayers. You said in your word that if we pray according to your will, you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, we know that, Father, we have the petition of that which we have prayed for. Mighty God, we thank you that Mutsimwanga, the saving grace is released upon each and every hospital right now, each and every clinic, each and every house. We thank you that Hebrews 1.14 is manifesting. You are sending out your angels who are your ministering spirits, who shall minister unto them, who shall inherit salvation. Heavenly Father, I pray for special grace that Father, even unto those who have not inherited salvation, Release your angels, mighty God. Release your ministering spirits. Let them be healed, Father. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father. We bless you, mighty God. We bless you, mighty God. We honor you, Father. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. You are st we are still going to pray. We are still going to pray. You know, we, we have been praying God's desired will. His desired will is that no one dies without knowing him intimately. Without, without knowing him intimately. So now let us pray God's predestined will. What is God's predestined will? God's predestined will is that which is based on his weight. That by his stripes we are healed. That is God's predestined will. But we're going to combine God's predestined will with his desired will. His desired will, in his desired will, he said, If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, I shall hear from heaven and heal their land. Hallelujah. So let us combine these two. His desired will is that his people should, should stand up and pray. However, his predestined will is by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we are healed. Hallelujah. So let us combine the two. We are going to stand up right now for our nation. We are saying, Father, healing. Father, release the balm of Gilead upon this nation. Release the balm of Gilead upon this nation. The numbers should go down. The infection rate should go down. It's not going to be business as usual for a church until the hand of God is upon this nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second, Second Chronicles 7 verse 14. Let us read it quickly wherever you are. You are now entering into God's desired will. God desired will, 7 Second Chronicles. And also we'll read Isaiah 53 verse 5. On this one we shall pray. I want you to pray quoting the word of God. Mr. Stoller, please come and sing You are the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord that he led thee. 
I am the Lord, your healer. I send my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Second Chronicles 7. 14, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and hope forgive their sin and heal their land. Hallelujah. This is the desired will of God that we should humble ourselves. But now let us go to God predestined will. God predestined will is that by his stripes we have been healed. It has been predestined that healing is our portion. It's written, as I said, verse 5, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Hallelujah. So we are combining the two, singing the song. We are combining the two. That Father, Father, you said, if your people shall humble themselves, it is your desired will. Your desired will has become our heart desire. We are humbling ourselves to pray for our nation. And you also said in your predestined will, this is predestined, Jesus Christ has died already, that by his stripes we shall be healed. Father, as we stand up, we are praying for a nation that let healing power flow in this nation through the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Riva siete roshi ende bosa, zende rosa riva karavesia, sandi rakaravo shira ve karavesia, sandi kosa riva karavesia, siandi rokorobos zira ba karavosia, sandi rosi ra korobo spare wa korobosiata, sandi bosa riva kesia. Sandi ba korobosi aten, jere ba kousare ba kasi aten, shandi mo usare ba kasi aten, shera kousandi kapazi aten, sandi ba korobo usiare ba kasi aten, shandi ba kousare ba kasi aten, shande ro kousi tarikasi am, shera ba kasi anda re korobo siate, je tarikasi ete mesende zetoro usare ba kash rimba. Zoto rikozi ata Sandi mba karabu shate Zita rohu saribeke shate Mba sandi ko Ribo saribeke shate Mba siande rokorobu siate resha Mba sende Zetira mbekorobu shate Siate ro Zita riko shia Sandi rakapeo ziate she tari karabosia sandi mbousa riba keshata we thank you for your healing power we thank you for your healing power for father you said in your word if your people shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face heavenly father you will hear from heaven and heal our land and mighty god we thank you that by your stripes we have been healed more than two thousand years ago we thank you mighty god we give it the glory. We thank you, Father, that you are releasing healing upon this nation. 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 For Father, your predestined for a will for us is that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we have been healed more than 2,000 years ago. We thank you, mighty God, that it is so and it is done in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bereka Paziotan, Shende Kaparikan, Zindor. 
Bora bikaze teka shoroka pasiat mesendika peroko zatika shende kaze rikasa shoro bosiat mesende re zati wakosh re kaziate bekosiot mesandi kosa ribekesh Heavenly Father, I pray for those who are in ventilators right now, mighty God. I release life unto them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are in comas right now. I pray for those who cannot breathe. I say breathe right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I release your healing power in the blood of Jesus Christ. For by your stripes we have been healed more than 2,000 years ago. We thank you, mighty God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We give you the praise and adoration. You are a covenant keeping God. A God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations. I thank you, mighty God, that Father you are healing. You are healing right now. We are standing in the gap for them, mighty God. You said in a way that if we should humble ourselves and pray, you shall heal our land. Mighty God, we are humbling ourselves. Forgive us as a nation. Forgive our leaders. Forgive them, mighty God, where they've missed you, where they've worshipped idols. Forgive us, mighty God. Forgive us of all our iniquities, mighty God. Release your healing power. Release your mercies, mighty God. Release your grace, mighty God, upon us. For Father, without you, we cannot live. You are life, mighty God. Riba sande maken zera ba kosi anda sheta rike sate mera kasi tara shenda mi kosi ate rika pasi ata me sende kosi ata rika pasi ate riboko zande makenzem shera ba kasi shere ba kosi ata zeti re me sende mako zere ba kasi ate rita kosi senda meka. Zereba kosha te, pesia te rekosia, sheri kapasande. Yes, Lord, we thank you for your faithfulness. You said in your word, your word shall never come back to you void. Your word shall accomplish that which you purpose to accomplish and prosper in the thing that you send it to. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I command the bodies, I command every person, Heavenly Father, who you seek who's hearing me right now, I say to your body, you shall not be deceived by any virus, by any germ or, or bacteria. You shall refuse to speak the language of death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For God has not given you the the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. You shall not be afraid of your status. You live right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin or de or death. Your body shall not be deceived by the virus. Your body shall not be deceived by sugar diabetes. Your body shall not be deceived by by high blood pressure, you shall live, not die, and glorify the name of the Lord. In the land of the living, you will go to your grave at an old age, as a sheep repent in this season, as written in Job 5.26, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the blood of Jesus Christ speaketh better things for you. You live. You live. The blood of Jesus sets you free. The blood of Jesus Christ sets you free. The blood of Jesus Christ sets you free. The blood of Jesus Christ sets this nation free. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever plan and decision of the enemy, they shall not prevail. We are standing on the predestined will of God. We shall live. We are the healed of the Lord by his stripes. We have been healed more than 2,000 years ago. We thank you, mighty God. We thank you for life. Riba siyande mbakosha. Zandi mbakosa. Jira bakosa. Parekazem. Zendi mbako. Zitarika pasiondoka. 
zirabeka sitakosha berikaze rikaposo shendimbaze tikareka sandimboka zitarika sheriboka siandeka ribakoso tereka reba sondi mbakes jera bakosiota repa kozandi mbekes we thank you mighty god for that this nation by the stripes of jesus christ we have been healed riba siete rosha besendi mbakosia zereba kesa shareba kosia besendi kasem roko sita resha reka siande mbekoso reke sita ro we thank you mighty god yes lord your healing power your healing power by the stripes of jesus christ we are healed this nation is healed in jesus name we thank you father we thank you mighty god we honor you father healing is taking place everywhere we thank you mighty god we thank you father you are the god that healeth we thank you father you are the god that healeth father we as a nation are looking up to you we as a nation are looking up to you only your father can intervene only your father can do something about us we thank you father in jesus name amen amen jeremiah 15 verse 25 he said the lord has opened his armory and has brought out the weapons of his indignation for this is the work of the lord of hosts in the land of chaldeans let the lord open his armory against any plan of the enemy whatever that satan has planned against this nation he shall not prevail hallelujah let the lord release his armory let the lord release his weapons He said Jehovah has opened his armory and has brought us his weapons of his indignation for the Lord of hosts hallelujah the Lord want us from the Lord of hosts there are multitude of angels that God has been waiting to release to release them until we pray Psalm 103 verse 20 says the angel of the Lord excel in strength heeding unto the word of the lord until we release the word of god the angels of the lord cannot move hallelujah let us pray that father send your ministering spirits why your angels unto every home unto every hospital everywhere let them minister healing and and also send out your angels of war against every demonic spirit that is behind this covid we cannot be held in ransom by this spirit hallelujah let us pray father we thank you you are jehovah sabaoth the lord of hosts you are jehovah sabaoth lord of hosts it is written in jeremiah 50 verse 25 that the lord has opened his armory has brought out the weapons of his indignation father release your weapons release your weapon father release my to god heavenly father your angels of war my to god and your ministering spirits let them minister unto every household right now where there is a sick person where there is someone fighting for their lives my to god release your ministering spirits release your weapons my to god let let them fight against this spirit of death that the enemy is trying to use against us Heavenly Father we thank you. Rokobali bo aramanda khosi. That mutsimwanga we as a church we shall prevail. For you said in your word that you will build your church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. We thank you mighty God. We give you the glory mighty God that mutsimwanga your weapons are released. 
Your weapons are released from your armor. Your weapons are released. They are surrounding your children. Heavenly Father, they are protected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, mighty God, that Mutsmanga, your ministering spirits, your angels are at work. Those who are angels of war, they are fighting for your children. Those who are meant to minister, they are ministering unto those, unto those who need to be ministered unto. I thank you, mighty God, for your faithfulness. Yes, Lord, I can see you are touching them. Yes, Lord, I can see they are receiving life. Yes, Lord, let it be so mighty, God. Let them receive life. Let them receive life. Let them receive life. Let them receive life. We thank you, mighty God. You are the God who healed us. You are the God who healed us. You are the God that heals us. We thank you, Father, that you are the God who answers prayers. You have answered our prayers. And we thank you, mighty God, that your children's lives will, shall never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Are you ready to pray continuously? Now we are going to pray for the church, for the body of Christ. We are going to pray for the body of Christ. Let us pray, especially for the servants of God. Amen. Because the plan of the enemy is to eat the head and scatter the sheep. Amen. Many are saying, if the pastor can get COVID and die, who are we? We are not going to church. I want to put it to you, the church is the safest place to be. Especially in the church where they are following all, all the protocols, it's the safest place to be. Besides the protocols, the Holy Spirit dwells there. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. So do not be afraid to keep the fire burning. Hallelujah. Let, let us read the scripture that I shall be, Matthew 16, 19. Matthew 16, 19. What does it say? I am the Lord that he left thee. I am the Lord he I sent my way to heal your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've given you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed. Whatever you lose in heaven shall be loosed on earth. Hallelujah. Matthew 16, 16 say, And I say unto you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. That is the predestined will of God. Can I tell you something about the predestined will of God? The predestined will of God needs little intervention of man. Because God has sent it. I'll give you an example of the sun. The sun is operating under the predestined will of God. 
No man is driving the sunset and the sunrise. No man is doing that. It is God himself who is doing that. So they are operating under the predestined. The sun, the stars, they are all operating under the predestined will of God. Why God has said it, it is established and it shall be so. Hallelujah. So the predestined, the predestined will of God says, I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. That is what God has said. And that's how it shall be. It shall not change. Hallelujah. Can we pray f- for the churches? For the body of Christ? F- for them to be strengthened with might by the Spirit of God in their inner man. They must not be discouraged. They must not fear. Why? We've got a purpose. Leve- Leviticus 6.13 says, The fire shall be kept burning on the altar continuously. It might not be extinguished. You know, when the church keeps the fire burning on the altar continuously, the enemy fails with his mandate. Hallelujah. That's the reason why Satan is targeting the altar. He doesn't want the church to be opened. Why? He knows that when the fire is burning on the altar continuously, his mandate fails. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray that, Father, let us not be ruled by fear. Strengthen us with might by your spirit in our inner man. Let no church close down because of COVID. Because there are servants of God who are dependent upon the church. When you speak about livelihood, politicians are talking about companies. Even a church is doing a better job than many companies by taking care of people. I've never seen a wedding without a pastor. I've never seen a funeral without a pastor. It is the church that is coordinating all those things. Hallelujah. So we need to stand in the gate for the church and close. So wherever you are, you're watching, I want you to pray for your own church. Pray for your pastors. Pray Psalm 34 verse 7. Let the angels of the Lord encompass around the pastor and his family and your family and deliver them. Let them be protected. Hallelujah. And also pray that we shall keep the fire burning on the altar. Hallelujah. It must not be extinguished. And it will not be extinguished. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you the glory, mighty God. We honor you, mighty God, tonight. We bless you, Father. We pray, mighty God, for the church. We pray, mighty God, for the body of Christ. That, Heavenly Father, you strengthen them with might by your spirit in their inner man, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No man of God shall be discouraged or give up on his calling. No church shall be discouraged and give up, mighty God, for our purpose is to keep the fire burning on the altar. The fire shall not be extinguished. We thank you, mighty God, that the fire shall not be extinguished. The fire shall not be extinguished. The fire shall not be extinguished in the body of Christ. We pray, mighty God, for all the churches in the body of Christ, mighty God. We bind the spirit of discouragement. For, Father, you have given us the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is loose in heaven. We bind the spirit of discouragement and its works. We bind the spirit of fear. For, Father, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but but of love and of power and of a sound mind. We thank you, mighty God, that you reign. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father. We look unto you, mighty God. We look unto you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We look unto you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We look unto you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. We thank you, mighty God, that discouragement has no place in the church. We bind the spirit of discouragement. We bind the spirit of fear. We declare and decree, mighty God, that the body of Christ shall 
keep the fire of God burning on the altar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we turn Le- Leviticus 6 verse 13, we shall keep the fire burning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we pray for your servants and all those who are serving you in spirit and in truth. Mighty God, we pray, mighty God, for their protection. Let them be enveloped by the blood of Jesus Christ. And let the angels of the Lord encompass around all the churches and deliver them further in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, mighty God. We give you the glory, Father. We thank you, Father, that you reign. We thank you, mighty God, that your will is done here on earth as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, mighty God, that your will is done here on earth as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your will is done here in our nation, South Africa, as it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We bless you, mighty God. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. Heavenly Father, we pray for your mercies. Your grace, mighty God. Only you, Father, can strengthen us with might by your spirit in our inner man. We thank you, Father, that you reign. We bless you, mighty God, that you reign. We thank you, Father, for the grace to keep the fire burning on the altar. We thank you, mighty God, that, Father, even in our respective houses, we shall keep the fire burning in the altar. We shall pray without ceasing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we bless you. We honor you, Father. You are faithful. You are glorious. We thank you for your servants, Mutsimuanga, that strengthen them with might. By your spirit, they are inner men. Vasongo nyama, vasongo tamba, kawa kwatise murena wanga, kawa penungo zanama na muya, ure vasongo nyama, vasongo tamba, Mutsimuanga, vatibetur, auna mumuzimu, ananga vatsere zangantani awone, rishave de mushumonu wabu kutsianga. Read the best word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. The Lord, our God, is faithful. He shall come through for his people. He is not pleased with the death of a sinner. I believe that our prayers tonight have saved someone. I believe that our prayers has been a timeless intervention for someone. They shall live because of this day. Someone will live because of your obedience, because you prayed for them. Hallelujah. One, a pastor will be encouraged because you prayed for them, that they be strengthened with might. Hallelujah. And I want to talk to the church. The church, I mean you, Muzalwane. It is your responsibility to keep the fire burning on the altar. It must not be extinguished. Guard your altar. Guard your altar with prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. 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 We have prayed. I would like us to go to John. First John. First John chapter 5 verse 14. If we pray according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petition of that which is of him. Hallelujah. We pray this will. Be it his predestined will. Be it his moral will. Be it his desired will. We pray this will. Hallelujah. And we know that God 
always answers our prayers. Let us thank him for answering our prayers. Father, we have prayed. And we know that you are the God who answers prayers. We thank you, mighty God, that because we have prayed, there is intervention. Your angels are released. Your power is released. Your armor, your weapon is released. And Father, you are intervening. We thank you, mighty God. For you say, you know that if you pray according to your will, you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, we know that, Father, we have the petition of that we've asked of you. We thank you, mighty God, in advance for our lives. We thank you, mighty God, that we are continually enveloped by the blood of Jesus Christ, where the devil can do us no harm. We thank you, Father, that the angels of the Lord continuously encamp us around us and deliver us. Heavenly Father, we thank you that our bodies shall not be deceived by any virus, germ, or bacteria causing diseases upon our bodies. No deception to our bodies. Our bodies are pro-life. We thank you, mighty God. For we know that it's not by might. It's not by power, it's by your spirit. And moreover, God, we know that you are a covenant-keeping God. A God who keeps his covenant for a thousand generations. We thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that saves us. Father, we thank you that this region everything is going down. The numbers are going down because we have prayed to you, our God. You are the God who answers prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. Keep praying. Don't stop praying. Keep praying. Take your family. Take Holy Communion daily with your family. Pray Psalm 91 daily with your family. Keep praying. It's the God who answers prayers. Amen.